Okay, so for our next topic, conical pendulum, this is actually our third topic for chapter 2, curvilinear translation. So conical pendulum yung tawag dito kasi yung pass na mapoform kapag ka umikot yung ating object ay may parang conical shape. So this is our figure or simple illustration to show the relations between our variables. Okay, so number 1 dyan yung ating angle of inclination ng cord so ito yung cord then ito yung ating weight or object okay, so ito yung ating angle of inclination ng cord denoted by theta then from that we can solve the other variable using that theta like for example if you want to relate the radius of curvature so we can use tangent theta so that is equal to r over h so, meron na kayong relation ng R, tsaka nung height ngayon. So, yung height mula dito hanggang dito. Then also, you can use sine and cosine theta to relate RL and H and L. Ngayon, minsan, ang hinahanap naman ng problem, yung inangat nito. So, yung displacement from this position ng ating object. So, kapag hindi yan umiikot, so, ang initial position niya ay ito. So, kapag hinahanap ito, so, that is simply L minus H. So, aside from this relation, uh, gamit yung theta and then yung R, L, yung H, pwede rin natin gamitin yung theta para i-relate yung ating inertia force. Ito yon yung W over G multiplied by V square over R. Ito yung MA. Tsaka yung ating weight. So, that is simply tangent. Theta is equal to V square over G R ang kalalabasan. Kasi W over G multiplied by v square over r all over w so mga cancel yung weight so matitira na lang is v square over gr the next meron din tayong cosine square theta plus v square over gl cosine theta minus 1 so, so again nandito yung ating theta the next yung ating weight pwede nating i-relate yan sa ating tension gamit ulit yung theta so we can simply use cosine so, cosine theta is simply W over T. So, if you will solve weight from that, that is simply T multiplied by cosine theta. The next equation, yung time. Okay? So, time to complete one revolution. So, 2 pi square root of R over G tangent theta. Actually, kahit ito lang yung alam nating formula. Because we can solve H here in terms of theta and R. So, using this relation of H, theta, and R, so we can simply write H is equal to R over tangent theta. So, the purpose of this is uh, to speed up our calculation. Like, for example, if the given is R and theta, so we can simply substitute that directly to this equation. The next formula, so maximum time to complete one revolution. Okay, so that is 2 pi square root of L over G. So aside from these equations, meron din tayong V is equal to R multiplied by omega. So ito yung relation naman ng angular velocity at nung ating linear. So yung velocity, alam natin, ang unit niya, it's either feet per second, feet per minute. Okay, so pwede rin meter per second. And then yung R, alam natin, pwede feet or meter, or inches, etc. Then for omega, that is the angular velocity that is either in radian per unit time. So let's say for example, radian per second, or radian per minute, etc. Then this one, so actually ito yung equivalent ng omega. So yung omega natin dyan ay is equal to 2 pi n. So ano ba yung n dito? Yung n natin dito, in yung revolution per unit time or revolution per second or revolution per minute or yung tinatawag natin na RPM. So, bali itong 2 pi na to, conversion lang ng revolution into radian. Kung alimbawa ito, revolution per minute siya, kung gawin natin siyang radian. So, i-multiply lang natin ito ng 2 pi radian per revolution. And so, bali, itong 2 pi ay yung conversion lang ng revolution to radian. So, maybe we can now proceed to sample problem. So, our first problem, 
is from the book of Ferdinand Singer. So, chapter 11, problem number 27. So, ito yung ating figure, as shown in figure P-1127. So, ito yung 1127. Above of weight W, so ito yung bab. Then, yung weight nya ito is moving with a constant velocity V in a horizontal plane at the end of the chord of length L. So, ito yung chord, ito yung length. Because the string generates a cone while in motion, the system is called conical pendulum. It is required to determine the tension. So, number one unknown. Tension in the supporting cord, its inclination with the vertical. So, dito sa figure, ang inclination with the vertical ng cord ay yung theta. And the period or time required to complete one revolution. So, T lang yun. Using the following data, so W, 100 pounds, the velocity 8.03 feet per second. Then, yung length is 18 inches. So, kung mapapansin natin, hindi consistent yung unit. So, i-convert natin ito into feet. So, ito yung conversion. So, ito yung 18 inches multiplied by simply 1 over 12 feet per inch. So, that is equal to 3 halves. Okay, so, solution. So, ito yung mga unknown. Ito yung mga formula na gagamitin natin. So, unang-una, ano ba yung pwede natin isolve? Kung mag-start tayo sa T, dito sa equation natin, meron tayong W is equal to T cosine theta. Kung mapapansin natin, given naman the volume, so wala naman tayong theta. So hindi pwedeng unahin yung T. Next, theta. So meron tayong theta ay 1, 2, 3, 4. So pwede ba natin isalog gamit itong ating first equation? So although meron tayong velocity, wala naman tayong radius. Okay, so for short, hindi rin natin magagamit yung first equation. How about sa second equation? So, meron tayo velocity, gravity of course meron, and then yung length, yun yung ating 3 halves. So, for short, magagamit natin to. So, yung ating first line ng solution, start tayo dun sa solution to solve theta. So, using this equation, so we can substitute yung given velocity, yung g of course, and then yung length. So, dito pwede natin gamitin yung ating quadratic formula considering yung cosine theta na isang variable lang. So, kung isosolve natin to gamit yung quadratic equation, so, punta lang tayo sa mode, tapos, yung number 5, yung equation, tapos, piliin natin yung quadratic, so, yung number 3. Then, type natin yung A, yung B, and then yung C. So, yung A natin dyan ay 1 lang, kasi wala namang coefficient yung cosine square theta. And then, next, yung 1.335, then, yung last ay yung negative 1. So, yung nasolve natin dito, yan ay cosine theta lang. Okay? So, kinonsider lang natin yung cosine theta na isang variable. So, that is 0 0.5348. So, cosine theta. Then, yung isa, negative 1.87. So, doon tayo sa ona. So, solve lang natin yung theta. So, our cosine. So, that is 57.67. So, we are done with theta. We can now solve for the tension since given yung weight, tapos meron na tayong theta. Okay, so from this equation, so we can solve for T. So, substitute yung ating weight na 100 pounds over cosine of yung ating angle na nasolve. So, masasolve natin yung T dito na 187 pounds. So, nirand off na lang natin ta. So, last unknown is T. So, we can use this formula to solve for T. But, take note, we don't have your H or your R. So, dito sa ating figure, alam natin na yung R is equal to L sine theta. Or, yung H is simply equal to L cosine theta. So, we can either use yung R or yung H dito sa ating equation dito. So, I think, Mas madali itong gamitin or mas mabilis yung ating solution kung ito yung ating gagamitin. So, substitute natin yung H dito. And then, substitute na natin lahat. Yung L, yung theta, and then yung G. So, masasolve natin yung T dyan na 0 0.9917 or approximately 1 second. So, we are done with our first problem. Next problem from the book of Ferdinand Singh ito again. So, chapter 11, problem number 30. The 20 pounds ball is forced to rotate around the smooth inside surface of a conical shell. So, ito yung ating conical shell. Then, ito yung ating ball. 
with weight of 20 pounds so at the rate of 1 revolution in pi over 4 second so yung 1 revolution in pi over 4 second yun na yung ating n okay doon sa ating formula kung natatandaan natin so meron tayo dito omega tsaka yung n so ngayon dito sa given yung 1 revolution in pi over 4 second that is actually our n in revolution per second assuming that g is equal to 32 feet per second square find the tension in the cord so let us denote that as t okay, so this is our first unknown then the force on the conical shell so yung n yung normal reaction dito yun na yung ating isosolve for the force dun sa conical shell at what is speed in rpm so yung third unknown is n that is in revolution per minute will the force on the shell become zero so is zero natin yung normal reaction dito para masolve naman yung rpm so yun yung second case so kumbaga doon ay walang normal reaction dito so ito lang yung ating FBD tapos since three forces lang yung involved pwede natin gamitin yung force triangle natin or yung triangle method so dito sa una ang gagamitin natin may equation syempre ay conditions of equilibrium lang so let us start our solution with summation of forces vertical equal to zero assuming upward forces positive so yung angle of inclination nilagyan na rin natin pero ang given dyan ay yung angle of inclination ng cord, so 30. So kung 30 yan, so ito, 30 din, yung angle of inclination ng edge ng shell with respect to the vertical. And then ngayon, ito ay 60. So kung 60 to, tapos magdodrawing tayo ng horizontal line dito sa may normal, so automatic 60 din to. Okay, so equal lang tong dalawa. Then since yung normal force dito, so yung edge ng shell ay 90, so magiging 30 lang to yung angle of inclination ng normal with the horizontal so ang isa pang given dyan ay yung G so instead na 32.2 ang gagamitin so ang given na G ay 32 feet per second square then dito sa ating inertia force wala tayong V then wala ding R yung R natin dito pero yung R na yun masasolve natin gamit yung length ng cord at yung angle of inclination so we can use sin theta yung theta ay 30 so sin 30 equal to r over yung 4 feet okay, so yung r natin dyan ay 4 sin 30 or simply 2 feet okay, so and then yung ating v since given yung n from the equation v is equal to 2 pi r n so we can solve v so 2 pi multiplied by yung ating radius ay 2 feet multiplied by yung n is 1 revolution over pi over 4 second so again yung revolution saka yung ito yung 2 pi so makakansel lang yung revolution dito kasi ito 2 pi radian per revolution so yung velocity natin dyan na masasolve ay 16 feet per second so itong 2 ay naka feet so let us start our solution with summation of forces vertical equal to 0 assuming upward forces positive so kompleto na lahat ng ating kailangan including yung ating angle of inclination, yung R, and then yung ating V. So, apart forces, meron tayo yung component ng T. So, kung isusolve natin to, so that is simply T cosine 30 degrees. Then, yung vertical component ng N, so that is simply N sine of 30 degrees. So, nahin natin yung T, so upward siya. So, T cosine 30, and then yung N sine 30, so downward. So, N sine of 30 degrees, so negative then lastly, yung ating W na 20 pounds. So downwards, so negative. So we cannot solve either yung T or yung N. And then equate dun sa susunod na equation or substitute. Okay, so let us simply solve T. So say this is our equation 1. So next, let us take summation of forces horizontal equal to 0 assuming to the right forces positive. So first of all, we have the inertia force. So we have W over G multiplied by V square over R. So yung V, yun yung sinolve natin dito kanina, tsaka yung R. Then next, we have yung component ng T. So to the left, ito naman yun. So this is T sin 30. Then next, yung component naman ng N na horizontal. So that is N cosine 30 degrees equal to 0. So we can solve again T. So we can substitute now W, G, V, and R. Or simply denote this as our equation 2. 
Okay, and then equate equation 1 and equation 2. So equate 1 and 2 and then substitute yung W, G, V, and R. So ito na yung ating equation 1, then ito yung ating equation 2. So substitute now yung W, G, V, and R. So ito na yung ating next line ng solution. So we can now use our calculator to solve for N. So we can simply use yung SIP solve denoting yung N as x dito sa ating equation dito. So, n here is equal to 59.28. Then, using our equation 1 or equation 2, we can solve for t. So, let us simply use equation 1. So, just simply substitute yung n. So, our t is 57.32 pounds. Next line of our solution, doon na tayo sa 0 na n. Okay, so, kung 0 yung n, again, ito yung ating FBD. Then, we can use triangle method to solve for unknown. So, yung n dito yung unknown. So, saan ba iso solve yung n ngayon? So, doon sa ating equation, meron tayong v is equal to 2 pi rn. Yung n yung hahanapin natin dito, yung rpm. So, para masolve yun, kailangan muna natin yung v. Ngayon, saan natin isosolve yung v? So, yung may v dito sa ating formula dito, number 1 yung ating tangent theta is equal to v square over gr at yung ating centrifugal inertia force yung W over G multiplied by V square over R so maalin dito sa dalawa yung gamitin natin pero kung ito yung gagamitin natin dun sa ating problem so syempre gagamitin lang natin yung W or simply use tangent to relate yung W at yung inertia force so then from that masasolve natin yung V okay, so we can use tangent 30 degrees equal to yung ating equation na v square over gr or yung ito yung w over g multiplied by v square over r over w so dito masasolve na natin yung v so which is equal to square root of tangent theta or tangent 30 degrees multiplied by g multiplied by r so given yung ating g so tangent 30 degrees multiplied by g na 32 feet per second square multiplied by our radius is 2. Yung nasolve natin dun sa previous solution, our radius is 2 feet. So, ito magiging feet square per second square. Pag in square root natin, ang unit niya ay feet per second. So, masasolve natin dyan yung V na 6.08. Therefore, we can now use our formula to solve for N. Then, take note lang na kapag ito yung ating equation, ang unit ng N dito ay naka-revolution per unit time. So, yung velocity natin dito ay naka per second. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinubstitute lang natin yung ating velocity na fit per second yung unit, magiging revolution per second yung ating answer. Pero once na i-convert natin yung second dito into minute, syempre yung ating sagot dyan na n ay naka revolution per minute na. Okay? So, yung n dyan ay 29.03 revolution per minute. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.